What are character entities? So we have a list of entities here and they will show you why you should use them. So for example, if I wanna use the left angle bracket, which is the reserved character, you'll find out that there is a red color here. Why? Because it is a reserved one. So the left angle bracket is used by HTML, even the right one. But if I save the code, you will not find any problems. It is rendered very well. Okay, let's just see that. So you see here that the left angle bracket is rendered by the browser without any problem. But what if I want to display the character, the left angle bracket key and the right angle bracket? If I save the page, you'll see that it's considered as a paragraph, even if it is not closed, but it's considered as a paragraph. But this is not what I want. I want to display it as a character. For that, we have character entities. And to display this character with this left angle bracket, we can use this entity name. And if we take a look at all of this entity, names you will find out that they start with ampersand then the name of the entity then the semicolon then for any entity ampersand the name okay let's just use this less than okay now i just need to replace that with ampersand lt then semicolon and we'll see that if it's in blue because it's considered as an html entity it will not give you any red color because it's not considered as an error okay save that refresh the page you'll find out that i have this left angle bracket or this less than so we render it correctly with the browser now if i just do the same thing for the right one and which is greater than i can use percent gt then semicolon okay let's just go for that and percent semicolon refresh the page and if you take a look so i have it is rendered very well so this is the difference between that and that so by doing this format so you'll just define that i want to display the characters and by doing that it will be considered as a paragraph and it will render it as a html element we have also another use case of HTML entities. So for example, if there are some characters that you don't have on your keyboard, so for example, the send or copyright, you just have to use this entity in order to display this copyright in your HTML code. And for that, you'll just go here to this part, copyright, then I will write ampersand, then copy, and semicolon. So as I already said, every HTML entity start with ampersand and end with the semicolon save that and you'll see that i have a copyright right here and this is the character i'm displaying a character that i don't don't have on my keyboard by using an html entity there are multiple ones so you can test them and there's also another website that can display all of that and there's a list of them so as you see there are some characters that you can't find on your keyboard and this is why copying the html entity can be useful depending on the use case you are dealing with